I'm Brian Peters, and I just wanted to show you some of the features of my dual Pokey synthesizer. It's built with pretty much just a Teensy 2.0 Arduino controller, which you can buy new for $19 at PGRC.com, and two Atari Pokey sound chips, which you can find on eBay or at a great Atari supply store called Best Electronics at www.best-electronics-ca.com. When you plug it in, it makes a little Hello World sound that travels across both chips, and it should show up as a MIDI plug-and-play device on your computer. It's also programmed to blink the LED on the Teensy every time it receives a MIDI note on, continuous controller, or pitch bend message. I have this synthesizer designed asymmetrically, so different MIDI channels control different things on each chip. MIDI channel 1 controls drum samples that are played on chip number 1. I have PCM audio embedded in the code itself. The mod wheel changes the sample rate. And the pitch bend wheel decimates the samples by skipping samples as it's playing them back. I also placed some of the sample addresses in the range of the actual program data. So you can get some strange sounds out of that. MIDI channel 2 controls the polyphonic mode on chip number 1, which gives you four voices of polyphony. As you can hear, this is a pretty dirty sounding synth. The decay envelope is controlled by continuous controller 3. And the mod wheel controls tremolo. MIDI channels 4 and 5 are identical, and control legato modes for chip 2. Both channels have portamental legato enabled, so if you play a note without lifting up the previous note, it glides to the new note, instead of stepping to the new note. The speed of the portamento is determined by continuous controller 20, While holding down notes, it keeps track of the order you play them in, so if I play this C minor triad and lift up the G, it knows that the E flat was the note that was played before the G. If I play the same triad and lift up the E flat instead, nothing happens, and if I play the E flat first in the triad and then lift up the G, it goes down to the C instead. CC3 controls the decay again. Anytime CC3 is anywhere other than at zero, it deactivates the legato mode so you don't get unintentional behavior from overlapping notes. The mod wheel controls vibrato. And CC2 controls the bend range that's mapped to the pitch bend wheel. It's in a range between one semitone and 12 semitones. Here's 12 semitones in each direction. And here's one semitone. There's also an arpeggiator, which is assigned to CC4. As you can see, you can turn the arpeggiator on and off while playing, and the synthesizer won't forget the order that you originally played the notes in. CC5 controls the speed of the arpeggiation. CC6 selects which shift register polynomial the chip is using. There's eight possibilities in all, which you can read more about on Wikipedia. CC7 through CC10 control some global features. CC8 and CC10 toggle between a 64K and 15K frequency divider. And CC7 and CC9 toggle between 17 and 9 shift bits on chips 1 and 2, respectively. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope this can help you decide if this is a synthesizer that you want to try building yourself. And if it is, you can find everything you need in the Arduino Projects section of my website at www.brianpeters.net. You can also find videos there and in the description of this video of these synthesizers being used to make actual music.